All right, so today we're gonna to cover sizing and spacing variables. So we're gonna build out our brand alias and opt collection for both of those. But first, we're gonna start off by looking at the difference between the two. Upcoming next week, so be sure to subscribe. We do have a video coming on multi-brand design systems. So again, be sure to subscribe from that. And unrelated to both, my personal passion project since around December was a portfolio tool for designers. I just launched the beta. I'm really looking for everyone's thoughts and feedback. I'll put a link in the description. So I'd really appreciate if you could check that out. It's totally free to build. Um, but all that said, let's get started with today's lesson. All right, what's the difference between spacing and sizing variables? So spacing variables are used for things uh, like your gap and your padding, which is here around the outside, you know, controlling the distance between elements and around elements. That's what our spacing variables are used for. The sizing variables, on the other hand, are used for components and elements that have defined sizes versus those that need to be responsive. So for things like icons and avatars, where that size is a little bit more defined. You know, you don't want an avatar being blown up to 512 pixels because that's way too big, you know, for an avatar icon that would belong in a navigation or something like that. You generally like to have them pretty well defined. Sizing variables, they don't really work well for things like fields because, again, you want it to be responsive. On a larger device, you want those elements to grow larger. And on a smaller device, you want them to collapse down. However, where you might use your sizing variables are for uh, max or min widths. Uh, or heights or so on and so forth. But you generally wouldn't use it as sort of a fixed value. Um, so I hope that provides some good context into uh, the difference between sizing uh, and spacing variables. Uh, so next is look at actually building out uh, our variable library containing our sizing and spacing variables. All right, now let's get started building out our variables for spacing and sizing. So first things first is let's create our collections. So this collection will be our brand, Let's create a collection for our alias. And let's create a collection for our map. There we go. If you're not too sure what these are, we've got a ton of great content on that. Um, so, but let's just go into our brand for now. And we're gonna start off with our spacing variables. So spacing, oops, spacing 100. There we go. And we're gonna set these to two. And one thing that you're realizing here is that we're using our 100 scale. We're not using our t-shirt sizing. So like an extra small, small, so on and so forth. And the reason being is by using our uh, 100 scale, so let me just go into spacing here and add one more just to give you a quick example. So 200, which we're going to set to four, is if we do need to come back in at a later time and create something in between a two and a four, so a 150, it's really easy to do so. It offers some flexibility. Whereas if we're using t-shirt sizing right from the get-go, so extra small, small, medium, all that fun stuff, you know, what comes between an extra small and a small? if you do need to add something. Um, so this just adds, using the 100 scale in the brand collection for spacing and sizing, just adds some added flexibility. <clears throat> now, at the end of the video, I'll cover some alternatives. So if you do need to uh, add some numbers in between uh, or create some sort of one, one-off rogue variables, what your options are, and I'll cover that at the end of the video. But again, overall, that's just why we're using our 100 scale for now. Next, we're gonna go with a 300, which we're gonna set to eight. 400, which we're going to set to 16. 500, which we're going to set uh, to 24. 600, which we're going to set to 32. 700, which we're going to set to 48. And an 800 that we're going to set to 64. Beautiful. So we got our spacing variables all out of the way. Next, let's create our uh, sizing variable. So our sizing, again, still the same thing. So using uh, our t-shirt sizing approach, let me go back in here. So 100, but this time is we're setting it to eight. And the reason why our 100 is eight compared to our spacing at two is it's very rare to have anything the sizing wise anyway, that goes below an eight, you know, but that's really small. You wouldn't really get into any accessible territory at that point. Eight is arguably isn't really that accessible to begin with. Um, so that's just why we're starting at eight for our sizing versus our two uh, in spacing. So then we're going to go with 200, which we're going to set uh, to 16. Let's go then with a 300, which we're going to set uh, to 24, a 400, we're going to set uh, to 32. A 500, which we're going to set uh, to 64. A 600, which we're going to set to 128. A 700, that we're going to set to 256. 
And then let's go with a 800, which we're going to set uh, to 512. There we go. So there we have uh, our spacing and sizing variables built out in our brand collection. Next, what we're going to look at is bringing these down into our alias collection. So now let's look at uh, bringing these into our alias collection. So I'm going to open up our alias collection and let's start off uh, with our spacing. So let's go spacing. And this time, what we're doing is using our t-shirt size approach. Now, you're probably asking is, why are you using t-shirt size in your alias, but your brand is 100 scale? And the reason being is I like to use t-shirt sizing. You know, I don't like to use our 100 scale. Also too, if you're a designer coming in, um, a, a little sneak preview for you, but what we're actually gonna be doing in our math is we're going to be using our t-shirt sizing and that's what most designers are used to using believe it or not you know if you use a 100 scale is a 100 large or is it small is it a larger number a smaller number what is it but if you use a t-shirt sizing approach every designer will be able to come in and know exactly what that size is referring to you might not know the specific value but you'll know it's for extra small components or whatever it is or spaces so on and so forth so that's why we're using our t-shirt sizing and our alias but we're still tying those back to our 100 scale. So for our extra, extra small spacing, we're tying that to our spacing 100. So that's just some of the rationale. And again, if you have any questions or comments on that, be sure to just leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you uh, with a deeper explanation. Uh, next, so let me get rid of that. As let's just go with our uh, extra small. And we're gonna go with spacing 200. Let's then go with a small. Let's go with a spacing 300. Let's go with a medium, which will be our spacing 400. Let's then go with a large spacing 500. Too easy at this point. Uh, extra large, we'll go with a 600. Extra, extra large, we'll go with a 700. And then a triple XL, we'll go with a 800. Nice and easy, that's simple. All right, so next we're going to do the same, uh, but for our sizing. So we start with our extra, extra small. So let me go uh, our sizing, uh, extra, extra small. There we go. And we'll tie this back to our 100. Let's then go with our extra small. This will be our sizing 200. Then we'll go with a small, which will be our sizing 300. Let's then go with a medium, which will be our sizing 400. Let's go with a large, which will be a sizing 500. And let's go with a uh, extra large, which will be our sizing 600. Double XL, 700. And then triple XL will be our sizing 800. Beautiful. So again, essentially what we did here is we brought all uh, of our brand variables for sizing and spacing into our alias collection. Next, what we're gonna do is actually bring these into our mapped collection, which are of course uh, the variables that ourselves and our design team will be using. All right, so now that we have uh, our variables in our alias collection, let's then bring these into uh, our mapped collection. So. First things first, let's start off with our spacing variables. As I mentioned earlier on in this video, we will also be using our t-shirt sizing for our mapped collection as well. So let's start off with our small, but one thing you might actually be wondering is a small space on desktop might be a larger space on tablet and a much larger space on mobile. You know, it would be proportionate between them. So what we actually wanna do is add a couple modes here. Let me extend uh, this outwards. There we go. So. Mode one will be our desktop. Mode two will be our tablet. And mode three will be our mobile. So for our small spacing on desktop, we're gonna set this to our alias spacing small. And our tablet will then be set to our spacing extra small. So it goes down proportionately. And then our mobile will be our spacing extra, extra small. Let's do another example. Let's then do a medium, spacing medium. On desktop, 
will be our spacing medium. Our tablet then will be our spacing small. On our mobile will be our spacing extra small. Let's do another example before we do a quick demo. Let's then do a large. So on desktop, that spacing will be our spacing large. Our tablet will be our spacing medium. And then mobile will be our spacing small. Let's do a quick example or demonstration here. So let me just draw two quick circle or rectangles or squares, um, whatever they are. <laughs> and let's add some auto layouts, right click, add some auto layout. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna apply our large mapped uh, spacing variable. So we have 24 pixels in between there. So I'm just gonna add uh, a quick frame here. Um, and then let's add another frame between it, a little bit smaller. So again, and then one more, maybe for mobile. Uh, so it's just a little bit smaller, just again, just to show a quick difference between it. So we're gonna set, bring these in, and then bring these in. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna get rid of all these. We're actually going to make it a little bit more realistic. So we're actually gonna use a desktop, a, uh, a tablet here. Let's go with a tablet. Uh, sure, Surface Pro, that looks too close to a desktop. Uh, sorry, I'm just winging it at this point. There we go, <laughs> and then let's do uh, a mobile phone, no iPhone 15 love. So we'll go, oh, there it is. iPhone 15. We'll go with an iPhone 15 pro. All right, sweet. So, oh, I lost my rectangles. Let me do that again. Sorry about that. Bring those in. Let's add some auto layout and we're going to apply our large spacing variable. There we go. So we got 24 pixels in between and let's make sure that this is set uh, to desktop. I'm going to bring these in to our tablet and when I set the parents frame to our tablet, look what happens. They got a little bit closer together. So it went to 16, and then it went to 24. And then if I bring these into our mobile, square is a little bit too big, and set these to our mobile, I can see that that gap uh, got much, much tighter. So that's the reason why we set our variables up that way. So like the the spacing becomes proportionate between it. So you don't have a small spacing on desktop, which turns out to be a large spacing uh, on mobile. So that's just the reason why we set things up uh, the way that we do there. Next, what we're gonna do is let's go into uh, our sizing variables, oops, and let's do the same thing. So we're gonna go with our sizing. We're gonna start off with our small. There we go, oops, spacing, and let's do the same thing, but this time it is going to be our alias sizing small. This is going to be our alias sizing. Sizing, almost hit the wrong one there, extra small. And this is going to be our alias sizing, extra, extra small. Let's then go uh, with a medium, which is going to be our sizing uh, medium. This is then going to be a sizing small. And this will be our sizing extra small. And then let's do uh, a large, there we go, which on desktop will be a sizing large. This will then be a sizing medium. And then this will then be a sizing small. Again, you're not gonna be applying sizing variables, as I mentioned at the beginning of this video, uh, to every component. It's generally those where you like to have a little bit more uh, constraints around the widths, heights, uh, or max or min widths. Um, so again, oops, almost made a mistake there. This would be our sizing uh, small. Let me just make sure, sizing, 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 beautiful. All right, so no spacing variables there. Um, so again, as I mentioned, these are not used for every component, just the components where you do like to have a little bit more uh, control over uh, the width of the height or the uh, max or min widths. Um, and next what we're gonna do is actually just look at uh, some alternatives where if you do need to violate uh, your brand alias or mapped collections for more one-off variables of what your options are. All right, so what happens or what are your options if you need a one-off spacing or sizing variable? So there's a couple different uh, routes here to take. The first would be for a component specific variable. Again, it's not always recommended that you have it or not recommended at all really, but if you do really need a specific variable uh, for a specific component, it is okay to do. It's not the end of the world. So what you could do, uh, again, in your mapped collection, 
Let's go to all variables here. It's just create, let's just say a card, you know, spacing. And if say you need a uh, spacing of, I don't know, something like 50 or whatever it is, or spacing is probably a bad one, but to sizing, maybe you need uh, a min width for something for a specific card of let's say 300, you know, that's more than fine just to do one off. Your other option is to really just go directly to the brand level itself. So for sizing, let's say if you do need something in between, like this 300, let's just say, I don't know, it's a rough guess. Actually, let me just delete this real quick and let's just go into our sizing. Uh, let's add, I don't know, something like a 725. <laughs> the math isn't proportionate, but I hope you get the drill. Um, and let's set that to 300. What I can do then is actually just reference the brand value itself. Again, you don't need to tie it back to your alias or your mapped. It is fine. I have seen a ton of use cases where everything for the most part is mapped, but you might have one or two unique values that you're really just referencing the brand value. You're not tying them back to the alias or mapped because it really is just a one-off. That is also another approach. Um, another option as well as if you do want to map it into your alias collection is you might be wondering what's between a small or medium what you can actually do is actually go what you call a small medium. Oops, small medium, which would sit in between your smaller medium. However, this is less common. So if you do need some one-off spacing or sizing variables as you're building your design system, you realize you have a particular use case where you need one that does not follow your current system. These are just some options on how you can add some one-off variables. Thanks for watching today's video, everyone. Just want to encourage everyone to sign up for our online Slack community at uicollective.co. I'll put a link in the description for any questions you might have on tokens and variables, design systems, general Figma. Uh, we have bi-weekly events as well on design systems and Figma, variables, tokens, whatever you need. Uh, and two, there's lots of great free resources uh, available on our website for you to dive into. So uh, thanks for watching today's video. I hope to see you in the Slack channel and uh, talk soon.